Good day to all of you. As you all know that on the first day of the week, we learn something new. And on the following day in the class, we revise the tools and practice using them. Without practicing on the tools, it is very likely that you would forget something or everything about these tools. So we begin today with revision of the previous class. Can you all recall why do we use the color box 1? Well, we use the color box 1 to change the color of the outline. Can you tell why do we use thickness of the line tool? With thickness of the line tool, you can increase or decrease the line's thickness. Now, all of you go ahead and turn on your computers and open an MS Paint file. Do you remember how we open an MS Paint file? If by any chance you are still facing a problem in opening the MS Paint file, please watch the video carefully and learn how we can open these files. First, move your pointer to the start button which is in the left corner of your screen or desktop. Then, using the left button on the mouse or touchpad, click once on this button. A box opens up and you will see all program as an option in this box. You have to click it once using the left button of the mouse or touchpad of your computer. After this, you will see an option saying accessory and this is the option that all of you will select using the left button on your mouse or touchpad. Next, we have to move our pointer so that it comes on top of the paint option. Again, using the left button on the mouse or touchpad, click it to open the paint file. So, have you all opened an MS Paint file or not? In this class, we will learn how we can make alphabets using line tool. Next, we will learn what do we mean by fill in with color. And then, we will use filling with color to make drawings like triangle, house, rangoli, etc. Okay? So look at the picture in front of you and tell if you can make these alphabets using line tools. In the picture we are looking at, all alphabets are there and we will make these alphabets with the help of line tool. As you know, if you need to draw a line, you need to select the line tool. Next, we are going to carefully watch the video and learn how we will make this picture using line tool and color palette. We need to first select the line tool. Then from the size option, select an appropriate size and select a color for color palette 1. Then bring your cursor to the drawing sheet as is being shown here and draw a line going downwards like this. Remove the dots and draw the letter L as is being shown in the video. We will go and select a different color from the color palette, color 1. Draw a vertical line again as is being shown in the video. Draw a horizontal line like this. Remove the dots. Draw the second line as is being shown and you have the letter F. We have changed the color in color palette 1. We have selected red now. We have drawn a slanted line. We have drawn another slanted line joining the first one. And we make the letter Y like this. Again, we go and pick a different color 
from the color palette one and draw this line here as shown in the video. A horizontal line just like an L remember to keep removing the dots at the end of the line we're drawing another horizontal line from the middle of the vertical line and like this on the top again a horizontal line you have the letter E the alphabet E Once again, we go and change the color, color one from the color palette. Draw a line, vertical line here. We draw a line from the middle, horizontal line, remove the dots and we are trying to make the letter H. So we draw a third vertical line like this and we have a letter H. We go and uh, pick a different color from the color palette, a grayish color, draw a horizontal line. From the center, draw a vertical line and you can guess what this letter is. It's the alphabet T. Remove the dots. Oh, it's not T. We are drawing the letter I. Okay. So we go and change the color from the color palette. One. Draw a slanted line. Draw another slanted line through the middle of the first line. And we get the letter X. The alphabet X. Next, we have chosen the light green color. Draw a slightly slanted line. Draw another one. And we can guess that we are making the letter W. So we have the alphabet W. We remove the dots at the ends of the lines. Again go back and change the color from the color palette. Select the color pink. Draw the slanted line. Draw another slanted line. Extend it a little bit. And from the middle, draw a horizontal line to get the letter A. So this way, we have one more alphabet. We again go to the color palette. Select brown dark brown as color one or we select a different color which we like we draw a vertical line and we draw a horizontal line on top of this first vertical line and this time we have the letter t we go and select yellow from the color palette as color one draw a vertical line Draw another line from the top. And from the sec second line's end point, we draw a line going upwards by dragging to get the letter N. Next, we have selected the green color from the color palette. We draw a slanted line, remove the dots from the ends of the lines and draw another slanted line joining the first line at the bottom to make the alphabet V. I'm sure you are finding this very easy and can very easily draw these alphabets. We have next selected the dark brown color from the color palette as color 1. And we have drawn these two slanted lines and the third line to get the letter Z or we call Z, the alphabet Z or Z. You selected a different color, blue color, drawn a vertical line like this. 
and joint the first line with a slanted line and from the middle again taken a third line to get the letter K. So this way you have completed this drawing of different alphabets. In order to erase this drawing, you can use the select all option to go ahead and erase this as you have learned earlier. It is being shown once again in the video to you. You go to the select option, choose the select all option here. Once you choose the select all option, a dotted line appears on all four sides of your drawing. Next, you look for the delete button on your keyboard and when you press it, your drawing disappears and you have a fresh drawing sheet. Well, do you understand what does the sentence mean fill in with color? Using the fill in with color option, you color the insides of your drawing or picture. Remember that we do fill in with color by making use of the color box 1. Look closely at the given picture and understand what all important things you need to take care of while using fill in with color. Firstly, if you are using fill with color, then it is very important that all your lines drawn in the picture must be joined to each other. Whichever area in your drawing you want to fill with color, first select the fill with color option and after taking your pointer to the area of your drawing where you want to color, just do a left click inside that area. If by mistake you click outside the area that you wanted to color, then the whole of the drawing sheet will be filled up with the selected color. Look at the given picture and tell if you can draw this picture or not. You will use the line tool and fill with color options to make this drawing. If you can make this picture, then go ahead and draw it. Let us watch this video and learn how to draw this picture. In order to make this drawing of a triangle, so first we go and select the line tool, select an appropriate color and come to the drawing area and draw a slanted line as is being shown in the video. Next, we remove the dots at the ends of these lines and draw another slanted line from the top like this. Remove the dots at the ends of the lines and join the two lines at their ends like this. Now we use, we go to the select fill with color option we select, choose a color and come in the middle of the triangle and left click with a mouse or touchpad and the color gets filled in the triangle. Do you know how you will erase this drawing? Now go ahead and erase this picture also using the method that we have learned earlier. Look at this given picture and tell what is this picture about. This is a picture of Rangoli. Can you say which all tools will you need to make this picture? This picture can be made by using the line tool, color palette and the fill with color option. Look at this picture now and say if you can make this picture or no. If you can make this picture, then go ahead and draw this. Else, let's watch a video to learn how we can make this picture. In order to make this colorful picture of Rangoli, we will again be using the line tool and the fill with color option and the color palette. So we first select the line tool and select an appropriate color 
come to the drawing portion and draw a slanted line like this. Just as we had drawn an earlier triangle, we draw the second line, remove the dots on the lines and then join the two bottoms of the first two lines like this. Then we bring a pointer here and we can draw a horizontal line like this and we are going to draw another triangle on top of the first triangle. So we take a second line here like this we'll be forming a star and now we join these two lines and our star is complete. Now we need to fill in the color so we need to select the uh, fill in color option and select the color so we select the color which is from the color palette and change the color palette 1 bring it here and fill it in change the color again bring it to this triangle and fill it here by clicking on the mouse or the touchpad change the color fill in here also change the color again in the color palette 1 change the color here fill in the color here change the color bring it here and fill in and change the color one more time the top triangle and also the bottom triangle we fill in so this way our colorful picture of rangoli is ready in order to erase this picture you will again use the method which has been taught to you by select all you can erase this picture next look at the picture in front of you what is this picture about yes this is a picture of a house can you tell which all tools will you need to make this picture this picture can also be made by using the line tool color palette and the fill with color option once again look at this next picture and say if you can make this picture or no if you can make this picture then go ahead and draw this else let's use this video and learn how to make this picture so first we select the line tool and go to the drawing area and using an appropriate thickness of the line we draw a slanted line as is being shown in the video a second line again slanted remove the dots at the end points and join these two lines to form a triangle next we draw a vertical line which forms one side of the house and the bottom of the house and the third side of the house also we will be drawing from here to down here till this point next we will make we need a door in the house so we are going to make a door from this point we draw drag a line upwards make a horizontal line like this and then after removing the dots make a vertical line like this we also need a small handle on the door so we will come here make this small vertical line and draw a horizontal line a small box type of handle we can make as is being shown in the video you can follow the video and make your house now we select the color fill in option to fill this triangular roof of the house we select the yellow color 
and fill it in the house. We select the brown color for the door and we select the black color for the handle and this way our drawing of the house is complete. Again to erase this drawing we will use the select all option to erase it. So let us end today's class now. Go ahead and first close the MS Paint file. Now carry on and shut down your computer. If you still face some problem in doing this, please learn by watching the video once again. Let us now learn how to shut down your computer. Bring your pointer to the start button as is being shown in the video. Next use your mouse or touchpad to click on the left button. A box appears and you have to look for the shut down option and take your pointer there. Then using your mouse or touchpad click with the left button and this will make your computer shut down. In today's class we learned how we can make alphabets by using the line tool. You also learned about what is filling with color and how we can use fill with color option. And of course, most importantly, you all made different kinds of pictures. Thank you.